What's up guys, I'm the Big Big Gamer, welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be teaching you guys how I make my Geometry Dash thumbnail. So many of you are probably wondering how I do make my thumbnails and how like you make good Geometry Dash thumbnails. Now, I know my thumbnails are not the best, but they're certain, they're, they're pretty good for a 13 year old, I'm not gonna lie. Now there are some 13 year olds out there who make better pictures and stuff than me, but it's not that bad. Um, now, I'm gonna show you how I make my Geometry Dash thumbnails for like demon completions and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, let's just get right into it. So what I do is I go to, so I, I, I use paint.net to make my thumbnails really good. Alternative to Photoshop if you don't want to spend a bunch of money. I'll, I'll leave a link to the description. So you go to resize. I, I do t uh, 1080p. Uh, you can do 720p thumbnails if you do want. But I'm going to do, I like doing 1080p because it's better quality. Now, um, so this is just gonna be, like, so, what I'm saying thumbnail, I'm talking about, like, demon completion, so, this is basically how to make, like, a thumbnail when you beat a demon or a level, um, so, I'm just gonna do, like, windy landscape as an example, so we go, windy landscape geometry dash, you should be able to find an image of the gameplay, you could also, like, get your own gameplay if you want, or you could just get, like, fr from the fan wiki, like, a little cover of the, uh, level, that's what I do sometimes, and usually it's a piece will fit right there, I can zoom in if you want, but I prefer to keep it like that. Now, I put a Gaussian blur sometimes, but you don't have to if you don't want to. But I'm going to put a Gaussian blur because I think it makes it look cooler. So, I, like that. A lot of YouTubers do that. Now, for the demon face. Now, I what you can use, like, a de any demon face. It doesn't have to be, like, the difficulty if you don't want to. It could be an extreme demon or a hard demon. Like, okay, like, like this thumbnail, it's a hard demon, hard demon, a uh, hard demon. Hard demon. Like, most of the windy landscape thumbnails have a hard demon. This one is an example of an insane demon one, but, like, this one has a hard demon in it. I know most of these did come out before the demon rain stuff, but there are some out there that do have, uh, the hard demon instead of the insane. So, I'm gonna get extreme demon, because, like, extreme demons do really make your thumbnails look, like, pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Um... Now, I know people are gonna, you're gonna, you probably, you might get some comments about how you're using this for views. So, use this face at your own risk, but I personally think it makes thumbnails look really cool. Now, you can make it as big as you want. I'm just gonna make it like that. And, yeah, so, so far, it doesn't look too bad. It will look better later, though. And then, get, uh, get out your text tool and write the name of the level. And you can pick, uh, any font. I'm gonna pick... Uh, let's make this one. This one looks cool. Make it pretty big. And then type windy landscape. Just like that. Um, and if it doesn't fit the screen, just make it a bit smaller. And, um, yeah. Alright, 167. That's what we are going to do. So, you got the name of your own. Now, you could also just, like, do this as well. That makes thumbnails look a bit better. And you could make your text even bigger like this. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna do that. You could do that if you want, or you could just make it, um, I just realized I spelled landscape wrong. Uh, landscape. Uh, yeah, so, or you can have it going up the top like that. But I personally think it looks better like this. They click finish, and I would highly recommend rotating your text. It makes thumbnails pop out a lot and stuff. So, yeah, so you got your text. Now, get, uh, your, uh, outline object. And just, um, and make sure to put the text on different layer. Also, outline the, uh, demon face. So, be careful of that. And just make it, don't make it too thick, but make it, uh, make it like that. And, um, then I would recommend adding, like, a shadow to it. It could be a white shadow or a black shadow. I'm gonna do a white shadow so you can kind of see it better. Um, so, yeah, just do this. It does take a little bit to load, though, because, I mean, it's the shadow tool. So, like, it will take a little bit to load. But, there you go. So, so far, it's looking, it's looking not bad for a thumbnail. And then, you can also outline the demon face if you want, just to make it pop out a bit. Um, like, that, that's a good one, that's a good a little size. If you want, you can also put, like, uh, another picture in the corner here. But I think it looks better like this. Like, just like a random picture. You get Doge or something like that. Just to make your thumbnails a bit funnier or whatever. But, that's why I do my Super Sonic thumbnail. But, I'm just gonna keep it like this. Just make it, like, a nice little, uh thumbnail that I won't want to click on. Next step is to get a GFX background. So, uh, just, it, it, it looks good like this, but GFX will make your thumbnail so much more, like, better. It, it'll, it'll make them more artistic, more, like, bold or whatever, or, like, or, or what, I, I don't know what the right word is, but, like, it'll just make them pop out more and people want to click on them more. 
Uh, so just search like GFX background for the color of like usually I do the background So it's kind of like blue. So we're just gonna do blue GFX background and um, Yeah, so just, and just pick any one you think looks would look cool. Uh, this one looks pretty cool But it's a bit low quality. So I'm not gonna use that one uh, This one looks pretty cool. This one looks nice This one let's how about we do How about we do this one so you get you get your GFX uh, picture right here and then you put you put it over everything, right? Stretch the screen. You can stretch it even more if you want, just to make it look a little bit better, uh, like this. And then double click your layer, and then at, at, there's this screen pops up. And go to mode and press overlay. And as you can see, now the thumbnail looks way better. You can add more GFX backgrounds if you like. Uh, if you want, if you think your thumbnail needs more GFX to it, like doesn't look perfect yet. Like let's let's do this like purple thingy but i would not recommend making your thumbnails too bright or else you can't really see anything so um yeah so there you go that looks now that is a good thumbnail that is a good thumbnail but do not and i mean do not put way too much gfx and make your thumbnails like really bright like i've seen a lot of thumbnails that are like way too bright and can't even see a thing so like, if we did like this and this copied the same thing over and over again and then we did overlay then we did over uh, overlay. Now your thumbnail just looks like a bit of a mess. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of art to it, but it's, it's way too much. So just keep it, keep it. Don't put too much GFX in your thumbnail, but do be sure to put a lot because that really makes it stand out. Like, look at look at this. Don't tell me this is not a good thumbnail. Um, now another thing you can do is lens flare. So you can put like, on like the demon eyes. So we we'll get a blue lens flare. And I used to use these. I still use them, but I use more of those GFX backgrounds. Um, so you could put one like um, like here, and then you can press overlay. And um, yeah, and I have a little lens flare, but that looks uh, it looks a little bad like that. So you could also just do it like this, and kind of overlay like that. So now I have a lens flare, and yeah. And so, yeah, another thing you can do is add, like, little sparkles. So, like, if we get sparkles, PNG, you can add them to your thumbnail and uh, make it a little bit sparkly. Let's get, like, this. Um, yeah, you can add it, like, you can add it like this, and then kind of, like, do it like that. I've never really used sparkles before. But you can, if you want to, just, like, add more to your thumbnail. Maybe add it, like, the end of your text or on your text. Uh, here is a good example. Like, like right there. You can add, like, sparkles there. And, uh, just, like, do this. Yeah, so, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, so, if we take off the GFX, by the way. So, this is basically what the thumbnail looked like before, right? Kind of a generic GD thumbnail. And then we put on the GFX, and it looks way better. So... Yeah, so this is a good tutorial for um for you if you don't if you don't think your thumbnails are good enough or whatever. Um So yeah, uh use uh, use this guide. It makes thumbnails look so much better and I might even use this in my windy landscape thumbnail, who knows. Guys, okay. I'm a, I'm going to ask you a question or, or I'm a, I'm going to have a poll. So, do you think I should use this when I beat this level? Should I use this thumbnail? I'm going to remove the sparkles because I don't really like the sparkles. Should I use this as my thumbnail for Windy Landscape? Because it looks really cool. I'm not going to lie. I like this a lot. But I want to hear your guys' thoughts on whether I should use this as my Windy Landscape thumbnail or just make a different one. But personally, I think this is a really good thumbnail and um, definitely would stand out to a lot. What the freak? My... What's my door doing? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so, um, yeah, so I'll, I'll have a poll on this video, um, hopefully, hopefully I remember to add it, and, uh, you guys can vote on that. So, yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, hopefully this helped you out a bit. I'll put all the links to, like, the plugin stuff in the description below so you can use them. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed, hope this helped you out a lot, uh, now you know how I make my thumbnails. So, yeah, this actually looks better than thumbnails I've made, so that's, that's kind of cool. Um... So, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. If it did help you out, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, turn on that post notification bell so you don't miss anything uh, that I upload or stream. Again, thank you guys so much for watching, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.